A Plano neurosurgeon has his license suspended after the medical board says his negligence resulted in at least two patient deaths. Patients tried to get their medical records from Dr. Christoph Dunch's office today, but they were turned away. Fox News' Natalie Solis joins us from Plano to explain why they walked away empty-handed. Natalie. Yeah, well, Clarice, those frustration, frustrated patients were told by somebody on Dr. Dench's staff to show up here at his office between 4 and 5 o'clock this afternoon to pick up those medical records. Well, those patients showed up, but as you mentioned, they didn't walk away with anything. And so far, we know that two lawsuits have been filed, and at least three more are on the way. Carol McMillan. Out of luck at Dr. Dunch's office at the Texas Neurological Institute in Plano. Dr. Dunch, seen here on Facebook, was scheduled to perform surgery on her tomorrow. It's very frustrating. You know, I called starting last Friday to get my records. On Wednesday, the Texas Medical Board issued a temporary suspension order of Dunch's license because of imminent peril to public health and cited impairment by drugs or alcohol. They just have this overwhelming feeling of betrayal. Kay Van Way is the attorney for 49-year-old Jeff Glidewell of Terrell. He was having vertebrae fused June 10th. He's still in the hospital battling infection. The hole in his esophagus was not discovered until he was leaking pus and saliva out of his surgical wound. Van Way says Dr. Dunch not only punctured Glidewell's esophagus, but left a surgical sponge in his neck. Glidewell is still on a feeding tube. Van Way's other client, Mary Eford, claims in her lawsuit she has permanent nerve damage because of Dr. Dunch's negligence. Despite being on the maximum amount of narcotics, that she prayed to God to take her every single day. She cried every single day. 54-year-old Kelly Martin, mother of two and wife of a Garland police officer, died from massive bleeding and is patient number two cited in the suspension order. Dunch has had surgical privileges at several North Texas hospitals, but most recently had them revoked at University General Hospital in Dallas. So I just want to get my records and go on and be done with him. All right, well, Carol McMillan, who you just heard from there, she did not get her records, but she did tell us that she was finally able to talk to somebody else with Dr. Dunch's office, and they told her that the reason they did not show up here today was because we were here, and they did not want to show up without, without their attorney present. Of course, we tried to reach out to that attorney to get some sort of response. Uh, we have yet to get any return phone calls, uh, but Carol does tell us that they were told they should expect their records now in the mail. Clarice? So Natalie, a temporary suspension order, does that mean that he can get the license back sometime soon? Uh, probably not going to be anytime soon. I did speak with somebody at the Texas Medical Board and they told me that a temporary suspension uh, really doesn't refer to any specific time frame. It's more of a move that is done uh, fairly quickly by the board when they feel that there is some sort of imminent threat posed by a doctor. I was told that the doctor will have a chance at some point to defend himself before the board, but that would likely happen over a series of hearings. It could take several weeks or even longer. Clarice? Natalie Solis, live tonight in Plano. Thank you.